flight board of one here. I got this old Cox Air Force One that I've had in the closet here for a while, so I decided to pull it out today. And what I'm going to be doing is trying to make it into a three-channel controllable uh, airplane. It's uh, all stock. It's made out of foam. It's got four ductive fan engines in it. I've done some work to it already. I've gutted the inside, left the motor wires. I've already made a elevator here, so it runs off of uh, NICAM batteries, but I have light pole that I'm going to be running on it. Now, as you see, I've gutted out all the electronics that came with it. Uh, Everything's going to be hidden in here. Cut some slots for some servos to sit for the elevator and the rudder. And what I'll use as a stabilizer is this actually is a part of the 747 that E-Flight makes. It has a rudder in there. I've also brought a little 30 amp speed control to run all four ductive fan motors, the brushed motors, and a little adapter. So let's see what I come up with. Okay, so I've soldered the brushed speed control that will accept the three to two cell light bulb, connected the Deans. What I've done is started together and made my own Y that would run off the battery side, which will connect to run both motors. Well, as you can see, I've got the motors and the speed control all installed. Got the little light pole plug hanging up under here. Let me cut on my radio and see what we get. So, well, that part was pretty simple. Now let's move on to the interesting part, which will be the servo installation to make that elevator move. Now what I've made here is a little piece so both sides move. It's kind of neat. Don't see one like this every day. <laughs> 